folks so today I wanted to just show you a little modification that I made to my chuck it I think it's important to use different toys with your dogs uh, in order to exercise them and the chuck it is one of my favorite but years ago I, I noticed a problem with the actual ball that they sell for the chuck it and it's orange and it's got these blue stripes and that's that's great for a human to see um, but if you're not aware dogs do see in kind of a gray hue and orange blends really well into grass when a dog is uh, trying to search it down so if you want to force them to use their nose um, using an orange item is great because they have to smell for it they don't see it very well but I've also noticed that when I throw this sometimes dogs will lose it especially young dogs they can't see it They'll lose it in a cloud or they'll just lose it in the sky or maybe they've got a tough background that they're working with. So what I did years ago was I made a little flag for it and I'm going to show you how you can modify your chuck it ball to do the same. And, th and that flag, what it does when it's flying through the air is it flutters and the dogs can see it. Now that's really nice for hunting dogs when you're trying to train them to track things in the sky because they can see that flutter but I also think it's a great tool for just basic obedience dogs or you know your common pet that you're playing with with a chuck it so <clears throat> first and foremost you're gonna need some tools and I like to use the ultra ball okay it's the medium size comes in a two pack you can find it on chewy all right um, it's a great ball it's a very durable ball um, and it's easy to modify to make this happen so the next thing you're going to need after that is get yourself some ribbon and this ribbon is 7 8 inch and it's 75 feet long you can get this at Walmart that's where I pick it up and I choose the white and the black okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two pieces at about 15 inches or so um, and then I'm going to melt the ends so you need a lighter just to kind of keep it from fraying, just a little touch up. You need a pair of scissors, a utility knife to make a cut into the Chuck It Ultra Ball. Um, and I think that's it for tools. Oh, and a pair of safety gloves. Have a pair of gloves on because you're going to be holding that ball and making a cut. Make sure you, your utility knife is sharp. Okay, it's really important. So here we go. Okay, you're going to take your end and just touch it up with the lighter just to kind of, nothing fancy, but I find that if you do that, it'll just kind of melt the fabric just enough where it doesn't start fraying on you. And you're going to take your two ends and you're going to double knot them. Try to have that knot as close to the end as possible so you don't eat up too much of your ribbon. Okay, and you end up with something like that. Okay, gloves, thick pair of gloves. Make sure you're using a thick pair. And just find a spot. Looks like on this last one I kind of cut it right down the label here. which says Ultra M. And you want to make the cut, I don't know, probably about maybe from the L to the end of the A. Start off there. You don't want to make it too big because then your knot's not going to work. Okay, you want to be able to pinch and hold that knot in there pretty good. Okay, so the other thing I forgot to add to your list of tools is a thin uh, flathead screwdriver. Again, you're gonna use that to push the knotted end of the flag into your ball. So you know what, after uh, trying this a few times with the double knot, I took one of the knots out and I think I think you're gonna, this is gonna hold just fine with the one knot. So, and plus it's gonna be a little easier to try to get inside that 
slot without overdoing it. We'll push it in just far enough, far enough, where the knot's in there, the material is flat, and that should pinch it enough to hold it. So the other thing is obviously when you throw this, you're going to have to grab the ball where the flag is not. And it adds a little drag to your throw, so you might lose a few feet on how far you can throw it. But again, I think the flutter gives it enough uh, visual help where your dogs aren't going to lose it so much. When they look up, they'll see that flag hanging off the end of it. You see the beauty. Look at that flutter. We've got a little breeze today. Sit. Chase. So hopefully you can see the difference there. It's kind of an overcast day. There is some clouds, so you can kind of see the background. Good. Hold. Here. Good. Hold. Drop. A couple of other added bonuses, or it gives you something to grab a hold of when you take it from the dog. Sit. Yeah, that's a nice flutter. Jeez. The other nice thing is if you um, wanted to add some scent to it, and in this case with Chase it would be bird scent, hold, drop. You could actually dab it on the flags. Just wipe the flags down a little bit rather than putting it right on the ball. Sit. Go ahead, sit. Jeez. Because um, every time she grabs a hold of the ball with her mouth, she's going to be rubbing some of that scent off. So, good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Hold. Drop. Good. Free. Ha, da, da, da. So there you go, guys. Enjoy. Hopefully this works out for you. Remember, safety first. Take your time. And I really do think that single knot is much better. Drop than the double knot because it helps you kind of push it down that hole a little bit easier. So free, go enjoy.